Hello fellow ant lovers, this is Mike, aka Mad Vampy on the Ants Canada Ant Forum. Uh, we've got a new product that's going to be coming out shortly here. Um, it is a test tube adapter, okay? What it does is, it takes a 17 millimeter plastic test tube and adapts it to a 3 a 8 inch poly tubing. Okay, which is a very common tubing we use in a lot of our nests. All right. Um, the, we know that the 17 mil tube will turn around and fit directly into the hybrid nest. Well, there's other nests out there that only have access via 3 8 inch poly tubing. All right, so what this product will do for you is you take this, Snap it onto a 17 mil plastic tube, test tube that is. All right. <clears throat> then on the other end, take the poly tubing and simply insert it in there. Boom, there it is. You now have adapted a poly tube, 3 8 to your 17 mil tube. All right. Uh, most commonly, a lot of the other nests actually just have, and a lot of homemade nests, just have a 3 8 inch poly tubes hanging out of it. And that's their transfer tube between their outworld or however they want uh, access to it. So what this will do will allow you to actually just connect the tube to your nest, whether it be a watering tube. If you are going to brood boost, you could add brood that way. Or if you're moving your first queen and the colony into the nest, you could simply do that, and that would allow it to happen. All right, another, pro another thing you can do with this product is, all right, say that you have your queen in here, cotton in here, and your other cotton's in this section, and the watering section has gone dry. You've got to transfer to another tube, unless you're ready to go into the nest by then. Most people take two tubes, so we'll call the one on the left the queen tube. We'll call this one the new fresh watering tube. And what they do is basically, bonk, stick it together and run tape on it. All right, great concept, except for it allows no air. Because if you butt those together, there's no air. So the only air would be between two cotton pieces and your ants are going to die if they're going to stay in there an extended amount of time. So what you can do is get two of these adapters. Take one and put it on the queen tube. All right, take the other one, put it on the other water and new watering fresh tube. Take yourself a piece of poly, however long you want. I usually use about, mm, about three inches, okay? If I can find them somewhere, my scissors. Okay, so I've got to find my scissors. Sorry, guys. I know that they're in here somewhere. Oh, this is embarrassing. I know they're here. Uh, okay. I know they're here. Oh, there they are. Okay, sorry about that. All right, so you take a pair of scissors, cut yourself about a three-inch piece of tubing. All right. And I guess I'll square that up a little bit better here. All right, a little bit better square in. Okay. And we'll take this out of the poly tubing and move it out of the way. And you would think, okay, you put those two together. We would still have the problem with the air. Okay. So, what you do is, you take the polytubing in the middle. This is 3 8 polytubing. You squish it a little bit, okay? Then, what you do, is you turn around and cut a, v, a little V-notch out of it. It's like that. And cut it like this. And then, you take out that little piece, okay? So now you have an actual hole in there, okay? Take a bit of cotton, boom. Okay, we know that that's how, that provides the air to our ants when we're in uh, queens in there laying her eggs and all that over months of time. So we know that's how the air gets in there. You take this and take it into a nice little ball and you stick it into the hole. Okay, enough to plug the hole, all right, but not enough to block the tubing. Okay, they can still get past there, no problem at all. As you can see, there's plenty of gap in there and everything. You take this, insert it into this one side, which would be the queen tube. 
you insert it into the other fresh water tube. Boom. You now have a coupling which will allow air. This side with a fresh water tube, you would cover up with something so it was nice and dark. This side you would apply light and or heat to. Don't burn your ants. Um, and that would cause them to migrate, once, especially when the side gets dry, migrate over into the fresh water tube. Okay? And like I said, now you're getting air also, so they're going to survive. When they're moved over, you can turn around and simply, boom, undo that. Take this, shove some cotton in there, and you're back to your original setup, plus that adapter. When they're ready to move, you can turn around and say this poly tube's your nest. Slip it in there. You have to excuse me. I'm looking through the thing and trying to film this too. And they would transfer into the nest. Or, if you have a hybrid nest, when the ants can a hybrid nest, you just simply unplug the adapter off of it, slip it into the nest, and they can move into their nest that way. Alright, well I just thought I'd show you the new product and also give you some ideas what the product can be used for. Uh, keep an eye out for it. It should be coming out soon. Uh, we actually don't even have an official name for it yet. But we're working on it and we're trying to bring you more and more products that will help your, uh, with your ant care and upkeep. Um, it's all about ant love, that's for sure. Alright, well this is Mad Vampy. I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Visit our forum and... Y'all have a great new year.